Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. Our journey has taken us to the spa yet again to see a show, Doris the Dragon. Apparently she's a real mischievous little dragon. She's a right one. So I think it's about time we went inside and saw exactly what Doris the Dragon is all about. Hello everyone. I'm now with Jonathan, who is the writer, he's the main man of Doris the Dragon. Now, tell me all about Doris the Dragon, Jonathan. Hi, Barry. Well, Doris the Dragon began in a show I produced and directed eight years ago. She made a cameo appearance in a children's show, actually here at the spa one summer. And I saw the potential in her as a star of her own. So I thought, I'll make a show based on Doris. And here it is. We've got Doris and her fiery family, Dougal, Daisy, Dusty, Dylan, and the unhatched baby dragon egg. So the show's here at the spa, exclusively to the spa for this summer. And then next year, 2015, we go all over the country with a tour of Joyce the Dragon Show. And you seem to be doing well with people. Yes, we are. We're doing very, very well. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted. And um, you can see the queue behind me here waiting to go into our, into our show. Harper's to Tuesdays and Thursdays at the spa up until the 4th of September. So what gave you the original idea for Doris? Okay, well, the show that Doris appeared in as a cameo appearance, she was a guardian of a castle. She was protecting a source called the Magic Source of all things. And I thought, well, she could actually be in her own castle and have a storyline all around her. And this is what we've got here now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Jonathan, thank you very much indeed. Thank I you, will Barry. say, break a leg. Oh, right. Okay. Break well, a leg. Hopefully, how about break a paw, perhaps? Maybe a, dra <laughs> a dragon paw. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to see us, Barry. Thanks, thank Jonathan. You. Cheers. I'm at the set of Doris the Dragon and with Gwyn, who is the presenter. Now, Gwyn, tell me all about. Doris the Dragon. Well, Doris the Dragon, uh, she has a castle for Down and Out Dragons, and it's my job as her assistant to invite the, car uh, invite the dragons in, find their bedrooms, and then just basically have a good time. Okay, so how long have you been doing this? Working for Doris, very least recently, about three, four weeks I've been working for Doris. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Yeah, I understand yeah. there's another dragon, Daisy. Daisy, yes, she's a little bit tricky. She's, she's rather feisty with her magic spells and potions and things, and she catches me a few times with her magic spells, which is all good. I get a custard pie in the face now and again from her when I'm not looking. I think I do as well, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, did you yeah. get one? Did yeah. she get you, yeah? Yeah, yeah. She's so sneaky you like get that. lots of kids in. Yeah, we had a fantastic audience in Tuesday, almost full. We've had great audiences every show. They're just loving the show. They're loving the dragons, obviously, because the dragons are the star of the show. And it's really nice to see the kids' reactions when the dragons appear and things, because obviously the dragons see it and I see it. It just gives you a nice warm feeling inside. It's brilliant. Okay, good. It. It's nice to meet you. Thank and you, Barry. Thanks and for you. having a chat. Ah, oh, anytime, anytime. Thank you. There's your honey, honey. And what shall I do with it? Well, there you have it. That was Doris the Dragon. What a great family show. Loads of people here, all the kids and mums and dads, grandmas and granddads, lapping up the show. Just go to show. Scarborough is the best place for family entertainment. I'm Barry Robinson, out and about in the Scarborough Spa for Scarborough TV News.